I'm Ebony Geek 45 subscribe to my channel hit that notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I do a new upload enjoy the videos and take your time going through them so that you understand exactly what's going on in the video if you want to watch this video all the way through there's a little something for beginners and I would even say people who are a little bit more advanced I'm Ebony Geek 45 and I would say make sure to hit your subscriber button I would say smash that subscriber button subscribe to my channel and here we go now for our LEDs and you're gonna need some extra parts to work with the LEDs or you could do it your own different way what you're going to need to line them up is these things. They look just like these, only they're smaller. Okay? Now, reason being is we're going to use these to hold the LEDs. So, I would insert it like such. And then the LED is going to go in to the side like that. And it fits in pretty good and you just push it and try to keep everything uniform. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get more of these because once you get them all lined up they fit in there pretty sweet. I believe this is the right size. So I'm gonna need so many of these. I hear some set up somewhere, but I can't find where I hear them set up, so I'm just gonna have to make some more. So I'm gonna go off screen while I get those set up for you, and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're on to the next part where we're actually preparing these headers. So we have the first row here have three of the second row. We need 16. So we're taking our pliers and breaking them off carefully. So that's the second row.
Okay, so we got all of these soldered up. Now, the important thing to remember is that you're going to have four that's going to be soldered up like this with the LED pointed straight down on the bottom. You're going to have four. The rest, you're going to bend the negative lead, which is the shorter leg, remember? Okay, next, you're going to bend the negative lead up just like these. So, using your pliers, you would just catch it at that little mark right there and bend it up. Just like uniform with the rest of them. It might look a little crooked when you're doing them. But once you start getting it soldered all together, it should be fine. You're going to have four of these with the leads at the bottom bending down. And the rest is gonna be like this. Next, we're gonna get to the IC board. Now, what I did here is I put these nuts on. The first thing you would do on this IC board is put in the header sockets that these LEDs are going to fit into. So that's the next thing we're going to do. The LED sockets is going to be on this side. And you will solder it on this side. And you're going to do that first because the IC socket is going to fit over it and if you do the IC socket first you're going to have a really hard time getting these LED sockets in. Okay this is 70 Geek 45 and I'm back. The step that we are at now is we're starting to solder up our circuit board here. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut out these little header sockets that the LEDs are going to sit in once they're placed into the circuit board. You don't want it to look like this or I don't see why you come put it on with the black casing but the instructions say to take the black casing off. So I simply use these wire cutters and cut it with the blade that's at the bottom here and just use it like scissors and shave off the black case and maybe I'll cut it right in there so one will come off and then you just carefully shave it off because when you're using a tool like this if you put too much pressure on the black case and trying to get the black casing off and cut off of it, you could quite possibly cut the silver part that we want in half. So you don't want to do that. So just go around it carefully and cut. Sometimes it come off easy, sometimes it come off hard. Try to keep a finger on it though because sometimes it pop across the room and there's no chance of you finding it. Like I said, just use your cutting tool and you can use like a blade or something like that or a razor, but I find that this is just the simplest. And so if, as long as I don't put too much pressure on it, I could get it to do what I want it to do. See, that's the example of it flying across the room. You don't want that. Actually, that's an example of it having too much pressure. As you can see, it cut right in half. So you want to be careful and not do what I just did. 
I guess that's a good example to show you what happened. So let's give you a good example to show you how it's supposed to work. So you just simply carefully shave off the black casing. Like I said, sometimes it comes off easy. Sometimes it's a bit harder. That's almost there. Okay, so I shaved it off, and at this point, all I have to do is just pop it out of there. Okay, and this is what you have. Okay, so I've already done that. I got a bunch of them down here. Now I'm going to show you how to get them placed because you have to weld them also to the board. So you can see the markings here. Each one of these in the squares, you're gonna put one of these header sockets in. Now, as you go down further, you're only gonna need to put one header socket in these squares is going to be the B plus. You see the B plus right there? So for every B plus you see, you're going to put them in there and take note of the number of that square also because that's what you're going to need for the program. And also take the number of, take note of the numbers of the squares here. I haven't dealt with the programming but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the P number. Pretty much all of the squares here, and this is where the power supply is gonna fit, and we'll get to that later. But all of the all of the squares on the side where the power is gonna fit, you want to put a socket in. And then all of the B pluses below, you're gonna have four in each row. Okay, so let's get to trying to get this together. I put in these nuts and I figured that it wouldn't be enough space, but it looks like it'll be just enough space. Okay, so what I found out is that the nuts on there, you might want to put them on first because they actually help once I put in one here and one here, and it's actually sitting flush with the help of the nuts. So. It's a good idea to put these corner nuts on first. So that's a good tip for you. Okay, so once you have your header set the way you want them to set, and I have two here, you just solder them, and it don't take that much. Just put your solder line on the lead, and solder it. There you go. And Put the soldering iron on the lead and solder it. Okay. Now they are very little spaces, but this is a good project for your soldering. And as you can see, that's the first set right there that we just soldered on. Okay. So I have quite a few more to go and I'm going to get those going, but that's a good tip for you. And as you can see, and another thing, you don't want to bridge your solder, so you want to make sure that each solder is right there and you don't want solder to drift over to another spot that you're soldering because that's called a bridge and it'll cause your board not to work. So you want to make sure they're nice and neat. It's going to be a little, um, if you're new to soldering, it's going to be a little tricky for the ones with the three. But just be careful. Make sure it is not the solder does not go over from one point to the other point because these are all separate. Once you get a solder inspected, make sure none of the solder is going from 
one point where I just soldered it on to the other point that you need to solder. You want to make sure they're all neatly on their points so that you don't have any problems. Okay, and like I said, when you flip it over, you'll see the ones that you need to solder. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of these headers. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these headers added. I'm Ebony Geek 45. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button so that you will be notified whenever I do a new upload. Enjoy the videos and take your time going through them so that you understand exactly what's going on in the videos. If you want to watch this video all the way through, there's a little something for beginners and I would even say people who are a little bit more advanced.